Yeah. What is our project today? It has to do somewhere in this sink. And what's happening with this sink? This is loose for the hot water and the cold water is even looser. When I go to turn the water on, it moves. When I turn the water off, I have to be careful not to push it too much because it twists at the bottom. See there? Down there? That should be simple enough to, to fix, shouldn't it? And, boy, I didn't realize that this, this bottom here can twist just a little bit. And that's not what it is. It could be, it could be something like that. If you, if this is slightly sloppy, maybe your nut underneath here is not loose, but here I believe the nut is loose underneath the countertop. See there? So I gotta get underneath there, and I'm gonna check both of those. And, but before you do that, you always wanna kinda look around and see if you can't tighten something up here first. And such is not the case this time. I have not gone down there yet. I don't wanna go down there until I show this to you. Here's certain things I might, I might need. I wasn't sure, so I got some stuff out. Here I've got some vice grips, and they're needle nose vice grips. Now you, you can have a regular pair of vice grips or not. You tighten it up right there, and then you, to, to get it untight, you push on that. Okay, I might use those. I might use a big crescent wrench. Some people call it a spanner wrench. Here's another small crescent wrench. It's, this one's probably too small, and in fact, this one could be too big, and it might be that a medium one would be what you needed. And I have a medium one out in the garage, and I, I just didn't have time to dig it out, but if I need it, I'll have to go find it. And here's some pliers. These are adjustable. So this is regular, and there's usually a slot on pliers. You can push that in, and you can make your, the end of it bigger, so you can get a bigger grab, okay? And this is something you may not be familiar with. What is this? This is a plumber's wrench, and it's got a head that comes out, and you can swivel it up like that, and put it upside down there, and grab the nut that way, and then turn it down here with the handle. And one way is loosening the nut, and one way is tightening the nut. You flip it around the other way. Well, I should probably put some WD-40 or some silicone spring in there. That's always been hard to twist, okay? And so you can do it either way. That way, if you're pulling it off to replace, to replace the faucet, let's say, you can loosen it, but in my case, I want to tighten it, so I might, I might even use that. I just don't know yet. I haven't gotten under there. So now's the time to get this done, and hopefully I can do it. Now, am I a licensed plumber? No. I'm just an average Joe trying to fix something at his house so I don't have to call a plumber out to tighten this sink, because if I called a plumber out He'd probably charge me a $75 service call or more to do something that I probably can do myself if I just had a few tools to work with. One more thing I forgot. This is probably an important little tool that you need. They're just some protective eyewear. Because when you're upside down there, you might think, hey, all I'm doing is tightening something. But sometimes you can get in an awkward position up there and drop, your, drop a screwdriver, drop a bolt or a screw on you, or a pair of channel locks or vice grips or anything like that. Okay? So I went down into the garage, found these. I try to keep, the, I keep these in a little protected, uh, the little box that I bought these in. And these... Over time, if you don't do that, they'll get all scratched up and everything. These still look pretty good, don't they? And they're probably, I'm guessing, 10 years old. That's because I keep them in a little container. Okay, so, and then here's something else I got. 
is a nice little flashlight. And it's a battery operated flashlight and it came with my set with my drill and a couple chargers and two batteries like that. So the batteries are interchangeable with different pieces of equipment. I've got a drill for it, uh, for these batteries. Also a little skill saw, a reciprocating saw, uh, and a sawzall, which is a reciprocating saw. And the thing I like about this is you can set it down flat and the head swivels. So if I want to if I want it like that, I can go there, or I can have it straight down, or I can have it straight up, or over this way, or over that way. And that works really good in certain areas, especially under sinks. Now I have a, I have a construction light too, and I could set that out too, you know, but I think I can get by with this. Plus, I got plenty of light in here. I'm going to keep the doors open as best I can. I, I, I think I got plenty of room. And sometimes, if you don't have big door openings like this, you could take these, you could take the hinges off the door. This, these are concealed type hinges. You, this particular one, you just pop this little cover off. And it's just a little cover that kind of snaps on there. And then you have to, you have to get in there. On this particular one, undo a screw down here and down at the bottom, and then these slide off. Actually, there's a screw on the end right there. Undo that, and, that's, and that slides off. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I have enough room here, so I'm going to have to get down there and see. I'm hoping that there's plenty of room back there because I have to, get, I have to reach up. You see, I have to reach up above the sink area and I don't have much room between the sink edge and the nut. That's why, and then there's not much room between there and the back. That's why sometimes it's hard to get to those nuts. I'm not quite sure yet which one of these tools I'm going to use. Hopefully I can get her done. Okay, I have not been under there yet. I just got the light here and I want you to see what I see, okay? Oh, we gotta get up under here. Ah. I'm trying to hold the camera and squeeze up in here. Okay, see there's a, wow, this is just a plastic nut. And look at this, I can turn it just with my finger, see? See there? I gotta somehow, see how loose that is? That's all it is, is that, and then for the hot water, one, there's the other one over there. So I'm going to have to lay on my back, reach up in there, and see if I can't get those tightened. And I think I can. I'm just going to have to finagle the wrench up in there, and so forth. Lots of times, you don't have plastic nuts. I don't know why they've got a hard plastic nut there. So that tells me I can only tighten it so tight. I don't want to bear down too far on it and crack the nut or anything. Usually these are these are steel nuts and and they could be rusted on there or something like that. But in this case, I think this is going to be a fairly easy fix. Okay? So <laughs> I might, I might be able to use my, see for that, I'm probably gonna try this and get them open up to the biggest, uh, the biggest way possible. Let's see if I can grab it with that. And maybe I can use this one here, the vice grips with the needle nose. That comes in handy once in a while too. But more than likely, you know, if I can't do that, I'm going to use this wrench right here. Now here's something else I might try. I might be able to, I might be able to get this pair of pliers straight up, but I might not be able to turn this very hard. I first want to get it like that. If I can get it up in there and get it tight, and if I can't really turn this, if I don't have enough room, I could take a screwdriver. I can keep this closed and I can use that kind of as a turn 
to turn it, you know, to get that one last little bit of oomph to tighten up that nut.